Hello and welcome to each one of the, to this new session of online lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we're going to look up pseudocode part 6, iteration, for loop. Iteration in the context of pseudocode is a process wherein a set of instructions are re repeated in a sequence a specified number of time or until a condition is met. The simplest iteration that we can have in pseudocode is the for loop. A for loop is an unconditional loop that will execute pseudocode statement for a specific number of times. The for loop consists of a for, which indicates the start of the loop, count, which will count the number of times the loop will be executed, 1 to n will indicate how many times the loop will be executed. In this case, it's going to be n time. The pseudocode that will be executed n time and next is used to indicate the end of the loop. Example 1. Write a program using pseudocode that will input 1000 numbers. So here we are going to look at how to make use of for loop to input 1000 numbers. To do that we are going to use for count 1 to 1000. Input num next. That's it. This is all the code that you need for this example. Example number two, write a program using pseudocode that will input 1000 numbers and output the sum of those numbers. So we'll be having pretty much the same code as before, that is the for loop that will indicate from 1 to 1000 and we're going to input the number. The only difference is that we are going to have to calculate the sum of those numbers and in order to do that we have to initialize the sum at the start of the loop as 0 and then we are going to add this number to our sum the so sum is set as sum plus num in our for loop and lastly we have the sum example number 3 write a program with pseudocode that will input 1000 numbers and have the sum and average of those numbers so pretty much the same as the previous example we are going to input 1000 numbers, so we're going to say for count 1 to 1000, we are going to initialize the sum, calculate the sum, and we are going to end our loop. Our average is calculated always at the end of the loop. So don't calculate average inside the loop, the average should be calculated at the end of the loop. So when the loop, once the loop ends, it's then that we are going to calculate the average, whereby average will be sum divided by 1000. Lastly, we're going to output the sum and average of those numbers. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe. Leave a comment below on how the channel can be improved and click on the thumbs up. Until then, see you next time.